Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Edwin. Good evening, Wendy. Good evening. Um, good, good to see you. Good to see you here. Good to see you ever, ladies. Uh, let me see. Ah, okay, Edwin. You sh you share a document today. Where is the document all about? The homework today. Uh, it's a homework that uh, about I mean about the schedule. Yes. Okay, so you notice that I asked for this homework, right? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. So I really like. I I know that you couldn't get into the class yesterday night, but I really appreciate you you take care of the homework uh, well I, I share a document that we are going to use tonight and i hope that tonight we're going to learn a lot i also have uh well i can see juan carlos getting connected Yesterday we had problems with the internet. And I hope tonight it will be different, right? I want everybody to be interacting, to be participating and continuously. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of activities to develop tonight. And uh, well, she was saying. Uh, how was your how was your day, people? I hope you have prepared your 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 cup of coffee so that we can stay awakened and with all the energy. I can see Carla in here. I uh, I know Carla is a listener tonight. And let me see. I drink. I use orange. Oh, you don't drink coffee. No. You don't like it. <laughs> yes, yes, I like it. Yeah, but but it is, uh, I, uh, you like it, but you don't drink it. Yes, uh, I I I I like my coffee. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we're going to start. Okay. Yesterday we, well, we have towards one hundred and twenty minutes to go over the activity, so we have enough a uh, time. And uh, well, let me see, Carlos Josue. Well, why don't we start talking? I mean, why don't we start talking about your schedule, people? Okay, but I won't be like asking people to participate. It would be better if you say, teacher, can I participate? And of course, you're going to be allowed to do so. Okay, any participant to share the homework? Just raise your hand and let me know about it. Volunteers, please. I need volunteers to share the homework. That's what I'm asking for. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hey, tonight, Hi, tell so, me. Solo que no sé si, si estará bien así, va. lo voy a compartir. Okay. Pero pregunté por la tarea y solo me dijeron que era así, pero ahorita que creo que mandó un, un, un link en, la, en, en, el, en el WhatsApp y que estaba diferente, pero igual lo voy a, lo voy a mencionar. ¿verdad? Para... No, Edwin, uh, the, the, no. the file I share in WhatsApp is because uh, tonight we're going to, we're gonna, we're gonna work on that file. That is okay. a new one, okay? So, okay. Uh, do me the favor to share yours, please. I will allow you to share it. Give me one second. Okay, now you can share it, Edwin. Al principio de la de, de, eh, de la rutina que yo hago diaria, pues hay una frase. Excellent. I, I Excellent. say I, I put a sentence at the beginning. Yeah, it, it's really nice. Hey, it's a good idea to start 
it's a good idea to start the class by saying um, a daily quote. Okay. okay, I think we are going to put it into practice. Hey, me gusta esa idea, Edwin. Ya okay, ver, quizás, quizás lo vamos a implementar, mm -hmm. empezar la clase con una frase célebre que nos okay. motive a seguir adelante. Ok, Edwin, go ahead. Uh, uh, for to have, I am, I get, I get up. Uh, uh, are, uh, sorry, are you sharing the, the, the file? Are you going to share the file, Edwin, or no? Uh, no, teacher. Okay, so you will speak only. It's okay. Okay. Um, for 30, 35, I take a bow and brush my teeth. Uh, for 15, I am aggressive. Uh, five, I am o'clock, I go to take the bus. The six, two thousand, I am, I am the company. I am at the company. The six, the uh, 35, I am, I have a lot of breakfast. And seven o'clock, I am, I go to work. And night, I am, it's time for my, my break. And 12 noon is lunch. War start at 12.45 p.m. And 2 p.m. Other breakfast, other break. Uh, 4.45 p.m. is finished work. The five uh, is correct to color. Five to color. Right, a quarter. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right, Edwin. PM, I take the path to return I uh, to return and home. The six plus PM at home. And seven PM take uh take a shower or take a bath and seven Quarter, I have dinner. Uh, seven half p.m. I brush my teeth. And eight p.m. I receive English class. And ten p.m. I finish receiving English class. I ten half p.m. bell time. Another uh, another prices. Dedication and the discipline over offer over better result, time brilliance, and ignited talent on, on a day to day basis. Only two. Awesome, Edwin. Hey, congrats because you always take advantage of the activities. Congratulations. Okay, okay so at noon, thanks. Uh, at at midnight, you go to you go to bed. What time do you get up, Edwin? What time do you do you get up? Uh, four half a.m. Wow, four and a half. So you sleep only four hours daily. And uh, ten half p.m. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that that was good. That was really good. Okay. Thank you, uh, is there any other participant? Yo la tarea no la hice porque como ayer no no me pude conectar porque venía en camino para el para la para la unión venía desde el Salvador. Okay, Carlos. Okay, it's alright. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Hey, what about the rest? People who were in the class yesterday. I have Wendy. Wendy, are you ready, Wendy? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, so the video favor to present information, please. <laughs> ah, you did it yesterday, but yes. is, it, is it possible to for you to share it again? Okay. Every day at 4 a.m. I, I get up. Later at 5 a.m. 
I go to work all day. I usually around 5 p.m. to 5, 5.30 p.m. I get home. Finally, at 9 p.m. I go to sleep. All right, that was really good. I remember you included a, a frequency ad where usually, right? Yes. Thank you, Wendy. Ladies, hello, ladies. Good evening. Hello, ladies. Ladies, are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Are you ready with your presentation about schedule? Um. Lo hice como prácticamente una rutina de toda la semana. Okay, that's what we're not here. Okay, this week at uh, on Monday I go to the work. Um, I am get up at six a.m. Uh, on Monday from Friday, I work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. In the afternoon, sometimes I exercise. On Saturdays, I go to church as a family. On Sundays, I visit my parents. That's all, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that was really good. Uh, what we need to be clear about about simple pressing is that uh, it is, it is. I mean, we have a per being present, right? I am a teacher, I am in the, in the house, I am, um, I am cold or I am warm. Um, etc. Right, but when you say I, I am go. No, it is I go. I go to I go to I go to work. Okay, it's alright. But I, I'm oh. I, I'm go to work. No, that's not possible. Okay, okay. So, okay thank you, ladies. That was great. Is there any other person? Is there any other person who want to share? information otherwise we're gonna go over the, the class itself participation at one at two and at three okay so we're gonna move on we're gonna continue we have a lot of work to do tonight tonight uh well prepositions give me a, give me a second please Okay, we're gonna work a little bit in this in this um with this info, the info in the book. Yesterday we we were um uh, practicing a simple present, okay, but by asking questions, right? And also we were uh, we learned how to say the time in English. Well, actually, you investigated the different ways to say the time in English. That's what we start we started with yesterday. And also, you remember about the agenda, right? You created your own agenda, and we answer these questions. Um, let me see. Uh, well, the expression we started yesterday fully is about what time, uh, et cetera, right? And tonight, well, we're gonna continue there. Uh, what actually was the this is this was the homework, right? To create a, a schedule with all the activities that you have to do during the week. 
Now, well, we have we have finished that part, okay? So, so if you are able to ask and tell people about the time uh, of activity as a, at your uh, workplace, so that means that you have succeeded in this part. If you, if you do it independently with occasional help or only with help, so somehow it's majoring or creating your effort, okay? Now, Tonight, one of the objectives is the, the following. Hey, can somebody help me with that? With the objective? Can somebody read it? Could you please do me the favor to read that the, the, the objective? Anybody in the group, please. Can me ayuda a leer el objetivo? Tell different people. Excuse me. Okay, both of you, it's okay. Both. <laughs> Tell different people. Tell different people the specific type a day of activity I do on my workplace. I do in my workplace, okay? I do it in my workplace, okay? And let's see. Let me see about this activity. Okay, this is going to be, well, we're gonna start over here. Uh, write a list. How many lists? How, how many, I mean, how many activities? Well, as, as many as possible, okay? Le voy a dar un minuto para que escriban. Un listado de actividades que hacen durante la semana. Ok. Luego, actividades que hacen durante el mes y actividades que hacen durante la semana. I mean, durante el año. Ok. Son tres columnas, ¿verdad? Hacen tres, tres, um, tres columnas de actividades. Una, lo que hacen en la semana. La otra, lo que hacen en el mes. Y la otra, lo que hacen en el año. Ok, so let us start with it. Al no más terminar, empiezo a preguntar. Eh, one minute. Un minuto nada más. You can start now. Pueden empezar ahorita a escribir todo lo que se les venga a la mente. Okay, now yes. Okay, you see, activities you have to do in a week, activities you have to do in a month, and activities you have to do in a year. Okay, uh, Wendy, please share what you got after Wendy Fatima. I will not I mean, <laughs> okay, the ones that you got, okay, I mean, the ones that you got. Okay, one minute. All right. Okay. Okay, let me see. Fatima. Share what you got, Fatima. You haven't finished it? What about no. you? Okay, what about you, Ben? Uh, Okay. Este, ahorita, eh, pues, lo estaba haciendo mi lista, ¿verdad? Um, I like to exercise. Eh, 
Uh, ejercicio, how do you say? You like to exercise, to work out? Exercise. I like yeah. to exercise. Um, work. I like eat, eat pizza. Um, uh, to visit to uh, the dentist. Uh, I but like. You, but, but you do it weekly or, or monthly? How, how frequently do you share the dentist? Monthly, uh, yearly, month, or weekly? Monthly, month, monthly. Ah, monthly. Monthly, yes. Okay. Uh, I like play uh, sports, soccer, basketball. Y, um, bueno, me falta todavía, ¿verdad? Pero voy a seguir haciendo la, la lista. Okay, thank you, Ben. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, Edwin, did you get something there? One minute more, please. Okay, Esperanza, did you get something there? Good evening. Perdón que no escucho porque hay un bus afuera de mi casa. Uh, okay. No escuché nada. ¿Cómo? Uh, uh, the activities. Activities you do weekly, monthly, or yearly? Uh, the, my schedule. Yeah, my but, schedule. Yeah, but in this case, you, you need to share activities you do during the week, activities you do during the month, and activities you do during the year. Ya. Yo las actividades hice como general, lo, como lo de la semana. Eh, ok. My, special, eh, my day begin between eh, 4.30 a.m. No. Perdón. My, my day begin between 4.30 I take one hour, half take shower, take my breakfast, breakfast, and get ready to go work. Uh, from Monday to Friday, take a, a relay different activity, activities at my job. At 12 uh, o'clock is my lunch time. After they continue with my job till 5 uh, p.m. Then, then I come back home at 6 30, it's my diner time. At 8 o'clock, my class time. I go to sleep at 10.30 p.m. Wow, that's it, Esperanza? <laughs> sí. Hey, Esperanza, congratulations, you're improving. Thank you. La sí. felicito, está mejorando mucho. Sí, thank you. Sí, pronunciación, eh, veo que ha investigado mucho, ha practicado lo que ha dicho. Felicidades. Thank you. Ok, solo pónganse a pensar que esto es un básico uno. ¿Qué va a pasar de aquí a qué? Cuando lleguen a un intermedio, un avanzado. Creo que van a ser de los, de los mejores. Espero que sea así. Thank you. Ok, um, well. Thank you, Esperanza. Thank you very much. Is there any other one? Is there any other participant? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, Edwin. I week, uh, uh, in the week, uh, I work, I play, I watch TV, a month, I study, 
exercise, and visit the family, and endures, uh, and birthday, and and of year celebration, and and pardon, and of year celebration, and go to my friend wedding party. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you once again. Anybody else? Well, actually that was very useful to introduce these activities, right? Remember, we started yesterday and we will continue uh, tonight. Okay, what are you gonna do with this chart? Well, you are gonna add uh, three classmates, okay? We're gonna, we're, I will create two groups, okay? And in those two groups, you are gonna ask three classmates about their schedules. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta, esta palabra? Schedule. Schedules. 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 Activities specifying time and date. Ok, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer acá? Voy a hacer solo dos grupos. Voy a crear dos grupos. Eh, vamos a gastarnos que 10 minutos máximo. Porque esta actividad, miren, solo le van a preguntar a uno, dos tres personas en esos dos grupos. Quiero ver cuántos tenemos conectados. Bien, pudiéramos hacer los tres grupos. De hecho, vamos a hacer los tres grupos mejor. Ok, le van a preguntar a tres personas y van a llenar este cuadro. Van a poner tres actividades que esta persona realiza y van a poner la fecha y la hora exacta en que los en que lo desarrollan. Ok, son tres personas. Actividades. Tres. Ok. ¿Es clear? Yes, teacher. Ya, yeah, ok. So, yes. when, you, when you finish, cuando termine, automáticamente, cuando regresemos de esos diez minutos, eh, pues me levantan la mano los que quieran participar y pues nos gastamos unos cinco o diez minutos en eso y luego continuamos con otra actividad. Ok, en la página que vamos a trabajar es page number 35 en la 35. Ok, page 35. So I hope you, you get ready. I will uh, stop sharing now. Justo 10 minutos, chicos. No más de eso porque si no nos podemos atrasar con algunas actividades eh, que hay por ahí. Yeah, we create three groups. We create three groups. Here we go. Okay, as quickly as possible, please. Remember, 10 minutes from now. No. Hello. Um, I watch TV in the afternoon. Uh, I play uh, with uh, with my uh, in the after, afternoon. Afternoon. What what other other? In um. Uh, I go to the park with. Uh, my dogs to the park to the park with my dogs with my dog and perro my dog and my you and I play basketball Play basketball. For 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 tío, por no. I'm play basketball. Él dijo la la fecha, dijo. Mm -hmm. La fecha, fecha y la hora y, y la hora. La actividad, la hora y la fecha. Mm -hmm. Sure. 
ahí no nos escucha. Creo que sí. eh, en las actividades no, tendría que ir. I'm sorry, if you eh, have any question. La... Yes, yo. En las actividades eh, tiene que llevar una, por ejemplo, tiene que ser de una fecha de o así en un mes, por ejemplo, que hace en un mes o en una semana. Ya, yeah, exacto. Actividades I mean... en lo que se. Ya, yeah, I mean, it, it may be like... las actividades de cada persona, ¿verdad? Yeah, Independientemente exactly. del tiempo. Yeah, no matter about the time. It may be once a week, once a year, once a, a month. Okay. Ah, okay. It may be during this week. Okay. Thanks. Okay, five Thank minutes you. more. Five, five more. Bye. <laughs> Entonces. <laughs> Bye. ¿Con quién vamos a empezar? Con Jessica. Vaya, vaya. Tres actividades. Eh, 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 lo demás sería hacer ejercicio regularmente. Hacer ejercicio. Uh -huh. Go to exercise. Um, hacer ejercicio regularmente okay. hacer ejercicio el día el, ah bueno que después esa es la actividad verdad sí. solo hacer ejercicio nada más en, en bicicleta. Ok. Al aire libre, no sé cómo podemos. Sí, sí, sí. Sería outdoor exercise bike. Ajá. Oh. Sí, lo puede compartir en, en el chat aquí de nosotros. Vale, Para... está bien. Gracias. Ahí estaría. Otro exercise. Bye. Sería eh, ayer, digamos, pongámosle para variar. Wednesday. El miércoles, ¿no? Uh -huh. Miércoles, ¿A qué horas? Um, a las cuatro y media. Cuatro y media. ¿Otra? Eh, la otra sería... Podría ser preparar eh, la, la comida para el siguiente, el almuerzo para el siguiente día, podría ser. Ahorita lo voy a compartir. Uh -huh. Y es uh -huh. Puede ser, digamos, entonces, ayer, la misma fecha. Solo va a cambiar la, la hora. Sí, correcto. A las seis de la tarde. Ok. Uh -huh. Daniel, no sé si estarás copiando ahí. A las seis, ¿verdad? 
Bien. Daniel, Daniel. Uh -huh. Quizás no está, no está conectado. A ver. Bueno, voy a empezar con el mío. Sería. Bueno. Edwin. Correcto. Uh -huh. ah, a ver. Cinco minutos. Uh -huh. Bueno, pongámosle la misma. Go to work from the Monday to Friday. Ajá. Y la mía sería de 7 de la mañana a 4.45 de la tarde. Sí, TH, TH, eh, da, me dijeron, porque es como eh, es, stock, stock, como inventario. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Bye. El otro. El otro, pero el otro es una vez en una. Y one the afternoon. Te gusta ver music, noticia. música, ¿verdad? No, news, noticias. News, news. Ah, news. Yes. Ah. What? At three in. Number two at three in the afternoon. Well, number two at three huh? in the afternoon. I go out the room in the field. I go. Hello. I go out mm -hmm. to room on the field. No sé cómo se pronuncia can, eh, cancha. I, I go out. Salgo a correr en la, a la cancha a las 3 de la tarde. No, no sé cómo se pronuncia cancha. O, por, o solo pone I, I. Solo correr. I go out. I, 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 uh, I go to room. Ok, number three. At five in the afternoon, I go shopping. At the mall, I go to shopping. In the mall. At in the mall, huh? Ten dollars, de qué? Eh, que Fatima y Vic, Vic puso su actividad, pero no les puso hora. Así no importa, no. sin hora. No, 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 no. ¿Y qué estaban las mías? No, no sé si los demás las pueden escribir. Y no watch, sé si los demás watch, la pueden escribir porque yo los oigo bien cortado. Watch news, dijo, primero. Estas son las mías, las que escribió Fátima. Watch news, la otra que dijo. Ah, aquí, las que han puesto en el chat, ¿de quién son? De las mías. Ah, las de Carlos. Carlos, las tuyas son las que escribió Fátima, entonces. Sí. Las de Fátima son I watch TV. Hello, hello. Las de Fátima es I watch TV. Yo... Le escucho algo cortado, quizás si las pueden... Si las pueden escribir, por favor. Ahorita te las escribo. Chévere, thank you.
Okay, everybody, I hope that you have had enough time to get as much info as possible. Okay, now time to share it. Okay, now I told you, right? Just raise your hand and tell me what you got about you, your classmates. Okay, not everybody at the same time, only one person at a time. Solo uno a la vez, todos al, al mismo tiempo, no. Okay, Edwin, Teacher. go ahead. Oh, okay. Bro, bro, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Go ahead, Thank Carlos. Thank you. Um, I talk about the, the my partner, Fatima Molina. And she, you like watch movie in the afternoon and she go to the park which you you so your duck he he play video game the other per, the other partner from robles and he he go to the work she exercise. She listen to the music. The other partner, Obel. She like watch new. She go to the room. He go to the shopping in the in the mall. That's all, teacher. Okay, Carlos Jose. Let us do something, the, Carlos. The, the, this the, this ram. That's no, all wrong. right. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's don't worry. Uh, in the chat, Jose, Carlos Jose. En okay. el chat coloqué algunas oraciones que usted mencionó. Tienen, tienen, hay que corregirles algo. Uh -huh. Ok. Va, revise lo que está en el chat. Ah, she lo, likes. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, lo corrige uh -huh. y de ahí nos vuelve a hacer la presentación. Ok. Ok. Ok, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Thank okay. you. Ok, Edwin, you were in church, right? Hey, okay, teacher. But think about the ladies. And activities. She go to work from Monday to Friday. And they, uh, Monday 20, 23 March at 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, she uh, she outdoor exercise exer, bike and Wednesday uh four half p.m. Uh -huh. she prepared lunch for the next day and Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Oh. Do you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, same story, Edwin. Lo mismo que que le dije a Carlos, por ahí he colocado algunas oraciones que necesitan ser corregidas. Ok. Ok. Um, ya luego lo van a, van a volver a presentar la información, pero eh, ya con, con el detalle corregido. Ok. Correcto, Ticha. Ok, let's see. Uh, is there any other volunteer? More volunteers. Machani. Eh, teacher, eh, bueno, yo como escuchaba un poco cortado, pero sí eh, tengo eh, las de Carlos. Ok. These are, these are Carlos activities. Ok, tell me about Carlos activities. He play basketball. He play. He, he plays. Basketball. Ah, he plays basketball, right? He, plays basketball. he studies, studies English. He studies he English. He studies English. He watch a movie. 
He watches movies. Watches movies. Todo en como en plural, ¿verdad, Trisha? Not, not exactly plural, but that is called third, per, third person singular. Ah, oh, ok. Bueno, de los demás compañeros, pues no alcancé a, a, a escuchar bien cortado. No, no, no los copié los demás. Ok, Obed, it's all right. Thank you. Is there any other participant? Ajá. Uh -huh. No more participants. Well, think about think about it, okay? Think about it in well, let me see. Jessica, can you please share the information you got? Hola, teacher. Yo solo tengo el de Jenny. Ok, share the information about Jenny. Pero solo le copié una nada más porque yo le di, a la, yo le di las mías a ellas, pero nos costó escribirlo, entonces se nos fue el tiempo ahí. ¿eh? Ok, so... Who do you work with, Jessica? ¿Con quién trabajó? Eh, Jenny, Esperanza, y la otra niña, no sé si era Carla, no sé. Ah, ok. Wendy, Wendy. I, I, Wendy. I say... Ah, Wendy es la cosa. Yeah. Ok, Wendy. Ok. My, my partner is Jessica. Um, once a month, she does the production check. On Wednesday, she has meeting with her boss. Every day, she prepares dinner. Now, yes, right? Pretty good. Using third person singular in the right way. Excellent. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. People who are in charge of correcting the sentences. Corrigieron ya las oraciones. Let me see. Okay, Edwin. Okay, teacher. She goes to work from Monday to Friday. She exercises. Exercise or exercises? Exercises. Okay. Outdoors. And she prepares lunch from the next day. Only teacher. Okay, thank you. Now you see. Uh, you already corrected that the, the mistake. Thanks for doing so. And what about you, Carlos Josué? Uh, yes. Fatima Molina dice que she watches TV in the afternoon. Uh, she she play video game she she other as exercise she exercises right mm -hmm. okay 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 thank you carlos well we're gonna move on we're gonna go over next part because, well, this is what, what you were sharing, right? The chart, information in the chart, the name of the person, the activities he or she does, the day and the time. So it happens that uh, we are going to start working with these prepositions, okay? Prepositions of time, okay? Now, how to use prepositions of, of time? If we talk about the days of the week, hey, what are the days of the week, people? Who can tell me about the days of the week? Sábado. Sábado. Hey. Okay, now listen. O open, open uh, internet, and I could, I mean, Google or another 
en no es source, so that you can, you can see the days of the week. ¿Cómo, cómo dicen los días de la semana en inglés? Uh, Monday, uh. Ok, go to YouTube. Váyanse a YouTube y busquen esos siete días, ¿ok? No, se, no van a estar Monday. On Tuesday. Tuesday. On Wednesday. 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 Thursday. Thursday. Friday. 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 Saturday. 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 Sunday. Sunday. And Sunday. Now, uh, when talking about uh, or when providing information about time or a day of the week, then you are going to use the preposition on. Si digo Monday, ¿qué le van a agregar? On, on Monday. Tuesday. On Tuesday. Wednesday. On Thursday. On Wednesday. Thursday. On Thursday. Friday. On Friday. Um, Saturday. On um, Saturday. Um, Sunday. On um, Monday. Sunday. Um, on Sunday, right? So yeah. on, con todos los días de la semana, on. Okay. Uh, si tienen una cita con alguien y le dice que es eh, para el día sábado. ¿Quién está de, on, on Saturday. On Saturday. Yeah. Now. What do you see about the second one? Hey, you know the days, the, the months of the year, right? Ya se pueden los meses del año. Yep. Okay, what yeah. is the first one? January. 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 Then? January. Then? February. 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 Then? March. 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 Continue? April. 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 Then? May. 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 Okay. Uh, June. 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 June, then July, July, then August, I'll continue October, September. August, September, October, October, October. October. November, November, December. December. Okay, I, I can see that you, you know the month of the year perfectly, right? And what do you see over here? ¿Qué miran de peculiar en esta frase? Tenemos home y tenemos el mes y tenemos la fecha exacta. ¿Qué nos querrá decir? ¿Por qué creen ustedes que aquí tenemos en January y aquí tenemos en in May? Creo. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál será la diferencia? Porque... Es como on, lo, porque es se le pone a lo, una fecha a lo... específica. Ok, on specific date. Ya lo dijeron por ahí, on con fecha específica. Y en y solo dicen, pero January the, the 23rd. Ahí y de, en, el mes, año o estación de en la mañana o en la tarde, ¿no? Ya, yeah. in the morning, in the afternoon. But you say at night, right? You don't say in night, no, you say at night. At night. Okay, on January 23rd. Um, what happens to this one on Monday, February 20, uh, on Monday, February 5th, on Wednesday morning, so on, 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 etc. In, como cuando vamos a ocupar in, mira, aquí tenemos on January, pero aquí tenemos in May. So, what is the difference then? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre las dos? No lleva una fecha. No, ah, no lleva algo específico. Okay, the, the date, we don't have a specific date. That is the difference. O, o, o algún complemento. Que, que lo... No specific date. May. Yeah, the, we don't have a specific date. The same with, how do you say 2018 in English? Uh -huh. Zero one. No, it's not, it's not 2018, no. 2018. 2018, all right. Then you say in the summer, in the morning, okay? So in. So when you don't have a specific date, 
you, you, you have to use in. The same with 20, 2018. And also, how many, uh, well, we, we have a, in El Salvador, we have summer and we have? Verano. Yeah, but how do you say, yeah, but we have, we have summer. And what is the other? Um, what what is the, the weather all about in the in the in the year? We have summer and, and winter. Winter, right? So then you say in the summer, in the winter, in the morning. Okay, so over there is in at people. When do we use at? Yeah. Can, can you yeah? Tiempo. When we talk about time, right? At 2.30, at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay, so you should keep it in mind that because it is it is not that complicated. It's quite simple, right? The only thing you need to do is to memorize when to use on, when to use in, and when to use at. And we have some, some info over here. It says, complete email using prepositions of time. Compa compare answers with your classmate. Now we have Fatima, right? <laughs> Uh, how do you say this in English, people? Give me one second, please. How do you say arroba in English? At. At, very good. Then we have, ¿Cómo decimos el punto en una, en una dirección electrónica? That. 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 Okay, so we have at that. So that. Fa, fari 2018 that. at email.com. So that's the way you, you read it. That count. Yeah, from to uh, the one that's going to receive the oh, message. Hello, hello. And the subject, what's the subject all about? New products presentation. Okay, trabajemos en estos cinco minutos. Ya luego regresamos. Five minutes. Trabajenlo. Eso está en la página 36. Ejercicio 5, página 36. Any question? No, teacher. Ok. Teacher. Tell me. Puede explicar otra vez que moví a buscar los audífonos. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, what are you gonna do over here? Well, you are mm -hmm. going to complete this part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it says complete email using prepositions of time. Compare answers with a classroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Now, yes, yes or no? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So let's go read. Tell me, uh, the, the la. Uh... De las opciones que están arriba son las que vamos a tener que ocupar para llenar la, 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 la oración. Like for example, in the first one says, hello, Fatima, are you busy? And we have a day of the week. Are you busy? What? On. Oh. On, oh, right? Because I told you. All oh, okay, the days okay. of the week, they say on oh, Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, etc. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, after yes. that, yes. But, uh, después que lo completen, van a usar la información del ejercicio 2, página 35, y van a escribir algunas de las actividades que sus compañeros tienen que hacer, especificando el tiempo y la fecha. O sea, queremos que ocupen esto, lo que estamos eh, enseñando esta noche. Okay, you're going to create something similar from this. Van a crear algo similar a lo de Fatima. Okay. So, so far, I will give you five minutes. Por el momento, les doy cinco minutos para que completen esto. Esta parte en la, en la página 36. Ejercicio 5, okay? Five minutes. Cinco minutos. Ya luego nos comparten que, cómo les quedó.
Okay, did you finish? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, did you finish? Teacher, eh, me sacó lo de la, de la clase. Eh, ¿Cómo era la segunda parte? Pues okay, sí. seco, seco, first part is for you to complete, right? Solo ir completando con la preposición correspondiente. La otra parte es que usted uh, va a escribir algunas de las actividades que uno de sus compañeros hace. Especificando el tiempo okay. y la hora. La primera parte sí ya la tengo correcta. Ok, yeah. very good. Solo sí. una actividad sería, teacher. No, I mean both. Bo ah, ahorita okay. las dos. Necesito que terminen ambas. Oh, en, la, en la segunda parte, en la, en la número seis, esa solo sería una actividad de las que, que practica. O podemos poner varias. Sí, varias, varias. Okay, let me know when you finish, please. Hello. Do you finish? Carlos Jose? I'm, I'm finished. Okay, so I will stop sharing this part and then you start with your presentation, please. <laughs>
the part of four is 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 small, okay? Ah, it's more. Okay. Okay. Mm. Fatima Molina, she watches TV at night. She plays video game in the morning. She goes to the park in the sun summer summer. Hello. That's it? Hey, that's it. It's, okay. It's small. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Sure. A, a short paragraph, but meaningful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any other person? Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there any other person? I want to share the info. Let us wait a little bit. Anybody else? Let me see. Edwin? Yes, teacher. I take about I take about uh ladies. Okay. The, she exercises on a bike Monday, March 23 at 4 half p.m. She um, prepares the next day's lunch Wednesday. And March twenty four at six p.m. Okay, that's it. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now I will ask the last time. Voy a preguntar la última vez si hay eh, voluntarios. There are no volunteers. Okay. No hay voluntarios. Ah, give me one second. Por aquí hay alguien que quiere participar. Alguien levantó la mano por ahí, quiero ver. Ladies. Okay, ladies, thank you. Ladies, go ahead. Well, maybe she has problems with that. Let me see. I have another person over here. That's Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, on Wednesday, Jessica has meeting with her boss. Every day, she prepares dinner at 7 p.m. That's it. Okay, I really like that. I mean, I will stop sharing over here. Me encanta que, pues, que si hacen la, la actividad de manera muy, se, se expande, perfecto. Pero si hacen eh, la actividad un poco corta, pues también está perfecto. La cosa es que se fijen bien en la gramática que estamos utilizando. Ese es el objetivo. Now, well, I think we will continue. I will continue. We will continue with this. 
Okay, as you can see over here, well, we said it, right? When to use on, when to use in, when to use at. Now, there's a, there's an email. Okay, there's an email that's from Fatima to Mary. Okay. Uh, what is the subject? New products presentation. Okay. And we have the following. You are going to help me to complete this. Me van a ir ayudando a completarlo. Y al mismo tiempo, eh, lo completan ustedes. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy? ¿Cuál es la preposición? On. On. On Monday. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? Hey, what's the meaning of this word? ¿Qué significa esta, esta palabra? Launch. Lanzamiento. Okay. And we're talking about a product, right? Launches. There's a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts at, at, good. at 6 30 until 5 45 but i can meet you at, 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 at. At. i can meet you at six o young at six o'clock on the corner of the first avenue um, in main street what do you think me. Yeah. There's another presentation, but it will be um, in March. In March, you say in, right? In March. In. Okay. And the next? On, on, on Sunday. Sunday. On Sunday. And I can't that day. Let me know. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay, uh, now in here we solve this one, right? Les queda como tarea esta parte. Porque esta parte es de pensar un poco más. ¿verdad? Aquí es nada más de completar y aquí es de crear uno propio. Entonces, pues, eh, me hacen el, el favor de completar esta parte. Ahora. We have some uh, vocabulary, okay, but this is going to be taken into consideration from tomorrow night. Well, I will stop sharing this. Ahora, eh, con el, vamos a trabajar en parejas. Tenemos 17, van a salir 8 parejas. ¿Qué van a hacer? Mejor vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. Ya me recordé. ¿Por qué? En grupos de tres. ¿Qué, eh, ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer en ese, en ese grupo? Van a tener, van a abrir el documento que les compartí en el chat, en el WhatsApp, perdón, y lo van a completar. Ok. Ok. So I wish it now. Preposition. Preposition, sorry. Yeah, prepositions. Give me okay. one second. Sale como sol desordenado. Okay. Ah, oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will, I will share it. But give me one second then. Um, 
preposition or or time. Yeah, prepositions of time. Okay, teacher. There you are in the chat, people. Okay, very good. Now we're going to work in person. Okay, permítame entonces. Ah, pede, pede eso. Ya. Yeah. Ahí le mandé cómo sale el de Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. I will try to get it in PDF. Teacher, a mí no me sale nada de eso. A mí solo me salen como unas imágenes nada más. Uh, don't worry. I will, I will share the PDF. El documento de Word, el, el, el teléfono de distorsión. Ok. Ya, ya. Ok, there you are, the, the file. Ya les compartí en el chat el, el documento PDF también. Ok, do me the favor to complete it. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres, dijimos, ¿verdad? Para terminarlo eh, de, de realizar a tiempo. Hello. Hello. 
Hola, hola. Hello Carlos, hello, hello, hello. Hola, hola. Solo yo te escucho. Yeah, I can see the Nilsson here in the bed, but they are not participating. Vamos a hacer Hello, algo, hello. Carlos. Hello, Ah, okay, hello. so the Nilsson is there. Mm -hmm. Hello. No. ¿Quién da? Eh, trabajemos esta onda, pues entonces. Este. Tener la, la imagen ahí en solo. La, la, la que se mandó ahorita, CF. Uh -huh. Sí. Vaya, dice de que preposition time of time. El... ¿En eso vamos a trabajar ahorita o qué? Sí, en eso. Pero vamos a ponerle in, an, on, o on. En la primera y en la segunda sería en la primera ya está completa. también la te... No, en la Bye. primera... No, no, yo creo que la, 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 las, las primeras tres ya están, ya, las cuatro están completas. Entonces, Esther Espérame. es... No, espérate, espérate. Sí, las primeras cuatro Sí, están las completas. primeras la primera cuatro en the spring, sí, está bien. Ajá. In, sí, está bien. Un de en Christmas Day. Ajá. Vale, ah. entonces eh, en este eh, sería at este. sí. no la 5 sería at at o cuál at esther porque at esther porque ahí está mira at esther en at buscarlo oh es que parece que no había visto bien entonces que no no esta imagen en el bien distorsionado aparte que puse el, el... El documento de Word, espérame, espérame. Es que pone el otro, pamado. Sí, es que eh, seleccioné el, el Word. Vale, sí. Yo te salgo. Ah, esto. Sí, sí, sí. Vale, entonces el otro sería on Sunday. On Sunday, sí. Uh -huh. In January. In January. ¿La vas anotando o la vas...? Sí, la estoy anotando. Sí, In the evening. Que... Sería... Espérame, espérame. In the in evening. Uh, On Tuesday. Which is the best? Do your best. Ok, hagan lo mejor. Casar. Y cualquier duda, me mm, escriben en el chat. Ok. Mm -hmm. Just in chat. Hola, hola. Hola. Eh, el 6 es. On. El... On What? Sunday. Ajá, va, ya. Yeah. In. Uh -huh. El 6 el sería on. Ajá, el 6 es on. 7. Uh -huh. es, es, es mes. Tiene que ser on también, ¿verdad? No, no porque no es una fecha en específico, sino que es in. Ah, ah sí, sí, es cierto. Sí, no es on. Porque solo es el mes. Tendría que ser in. Ajá, in. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Eh, ¿Dónde es? El... Evening. evening. Ajá, evening. Como evening, ¿verdad? Ajá, sería in. Pero ocho sería in. Ajá, in. El nueve. Tuesday morning. Eh, está diciendo que es el jueves en la mañana. Está haciendo que sí. Es on. On. Tendría on. Que ser. The 10 es también on. Uh -huh. Ajá, porque. Eh, ajá, 11. Eh, 11. At, el 11. Sí, at. Es at. 12. El... In. In. Ajá, in. 13 en la tarde dice y in, inda serían Ajá. las dos palabras verdad y sí in. Ajá, in. bueno ya está ahí after eh, miércoles Ajá. la 14 on 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 15 
in. Ah, no, sería. At, 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 sí, at. 16. Dice el sábado en la tarde. On. On, on Saturday. Y en la 17, at. Ya. Creo que es in. No, at. at in Saturday afternoon. On, perdón, no, la 17. On Saturday. La 16 on? sería. On. Ajá, la 16, on. Y la 17, at. At. At, sí, at. Es como que está diciendo el mediodía, ¿verdad? Yo, ajá, yo creo que sí, el mediodía es. Uh -huh. vale. ¿Qué, más, ¿Qué más tenemos que llenar? La segunda. ¿El 2? El 2, vale. Dice que sobre la línea. La proposición. La proposición. Ah, y, ah, y, da, y da las dos opciones. ¿Cuál sería? Ajá. Ahí es. On, ¿verdad? Ahí es on. La número uno. Sundays. Entonces sería la cinco. In. No, la cinco es at. Sí, yo así creo que es at. Es at. at. Ah, sí, 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 correcto, at. correcto. Ajá. Es at. At. Sí. La, la no seis es. On. Uh, on. 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 The evening. Uh, Eso sería, sería in. In the, uh -huh, in the. En la nueve Tuesday morning. Sería in también. Sí, sería in. December la diez. On. Ay, creo que es on. Porque habla del mes y el, la fecha. Ajá, la... eh, las, oh, el número 11 sería at. at no ya eso lo sí, tiene no no, eh, no donde habla del mes es on que donde habla del mes es on sí el correcto en diciembre es on es on en la es in quiero ver Will you two to the club on Friday morning? On Friday. What do you do In... at Esther? At... Mm -hmm. She is in the London. London. Sería London, sí. O at, no, sería London. In, va. ¿Cómo sí. lo ve usted ahí? At... Porque at, sí, in London, creo que. Sí, in. In, in verdad, sí. Va. sí. Well to the picnic on Saturday. The concert yeah. start at 6, 6 p.m. Bueno, vamos con la, la número 3. Vaya, vamos a ver, dice, Do you work to... Sunday. On Sunday, yeah. ¿verdad? On Sunday, sí. Sería on. Kate will be back. With her. Sería at. ¿Cómo lo ven ahí? Porque dice, eh, sí, porque one hours, hours. Dice como este, este es de tiempo, me imagino. ¿Cómo lo ve usted ahí? Para mí es at. ¿Y usted? Sí. 
Sí, yo digo Admiral. que sí. Ah, sí, ¿por qué? Está hablando de hora. Sí. Vaya, entonces, where are you on the weekend? Vaya, número 10. At. 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 Ajá. At. No. Sí, eh, ajá. Once. Once. Once es in. In. In, ¿verdad? In. Porque hablando in. de fecha. Eh. La in. número 12. In también. La 13. Friday morning. Ahí, creo que es in también. In. In. El viernes en la mañana, dice. In. In, in le dejamos. In. Vale. 14. La 13 sería on. On. 13 sería on. On free, free day morning. Eh, pues, pero está Friday hablando de un día en la mañana. Ajá. Sí, dice que es viernes en la mañana. Ajá. Ajá, entonces le dejamos on o in. On. Ahí me dicen ustedes. ¿Están de acuerdo todos? On. Creo que la 13 Va. es la por lo mismo. Eh, que es en, en la 14. En la 13, on. Ajá, en la 13, on. ¿Qué sería on? Ajá. Está hablando on. de la mañana. Está hablando de viernes, está hablando de un día específico. De... Viernes no, en la mañana. No. Viernes está hablando de algo morning. específico. Ajá, Friday entonces, in the morning. On. Va, entonces on le dejamos. Sí. On. Va, y la número 14. Está hablando como el día de Pascua, de resurrección. Ajá, el día de Pascua. ¿Qué, ¿Qué vamos a hacer el día de resurrección? Uh -huh. ¿Está hablando de un día específico? <risa> <risa> ¿O de una fecha específica? No sé. <risa> ¿En, la, ¿A dónde? ¿En la 14? ¿En la número 14? ¿La número 14? At. 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 Le dejamos at, entonces. Sí. Vale. La número 15... In sería, ¿verdad? Porque está hablando de un lugar, de Londres. In sí. London. No. La 16. Ah, está hablando de un día. On Saturday. On, on Saturday. Ajá. Eh, 17. 17. At. 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 Pasamos a la número 3. Dice que pongamos la preposición correcta. Vale, ¿Cuál sería on? On. 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 Taking me back at, at half an hour. Half es como media hora, en, en una, ajá. una media hora. Ajá, media ¿verdad? Hora. Ajá, ajá. Entonces sería on. At. No, at. No, at. No, at. Ajá. ¿Segura? Sí. Sí. Mm, <ríe> <Yo estoy diciendo ríe> no la, no la escuché muy segura. <ríe> Para tiempo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Vaya, la número tres. Espérame. Fin de semana. Pero... De quién? In. On weekend. On. On the weekend. No, in sería. A mi ver, no sé ustedes. Porque está hablando Ajá. que de dónde, dónde, where, where, quiero ver, where, 
Where you? Where where? Mm -hmm. Where where? In the weekend. Le dejamos in. No. Póngale in the weekend. Sí, in the weekend. Bye. La cuatro. In. In también, ¿verdad? Sí. La cinco. En la tarde. In. In. Uh -huh. La, la cinco, seis. la cinco, la cuatro era on. La cuatro es on. Ajá. Bueno, on February. No porque no es un día en específico. Es un mes, no es in. Es un mes. Es un mes. Entonces, ajá, entonces es in. Es in, sí, va. La seis. Sí, y mira, estoy contando. Es at no. La cual vamos por la siete, sí, 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 entiendo que es in. Esa cuál sería in, in, verdad, siempre, ajá, la ocho, in. No dice nada específico. No, pero, no. Ajá, en el momento. En el momento, no sé. Ay, no sé. Eh, la nueve. A la nueve hay un full salde. On, ¿verdad? On, sí. Uh -huh. La diez. In. In. In, In. sí. La de las estaciones del año. Uh -huh. La 11 es in. In Para también, dos. ¿verdad? La 12. Om. Sí, om. La 13. In. In. In, sí. In the summer. In, in summer. No le pongo in. la palabra a ti, ¿verdad? No, yo creo que no. Ah, vale, la, la 14. Where in. did you live in? In. Sí. La 15. At. At. Uh -huh. 16. La 16 es on. On. Porque una fecha en específico. Sí. Y, y la, la 17, 17 in. In. Ya la 4 ya no la hicimos. Démosle ahorita todavía, tenemos 30 segundos. 32 segundos. Dice, it was one of my usual days I got at, at mm -hmm. seven o'clock ah, sí. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Nosotros sigamos. Dressed and breakfast at. In, at, ¿verdad? Va, espérenme, at, espérenme, espérenme. In the morning. In the morning. Wash your dresser and add uh -huh. and have breakfast uh -huh. at the same I went uh -huh. my office there working till o'clock. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. <laughs> I saw you were I, I saw you were like like struggling with in on at in on at that was really nice. Okay. <laughs> I saw you were like uh, having a good time and uh, answering those uh, exercises. Uh, how was the activity? I think when we practice, uh, when we have a lot of practice, we we tend to master the topic, right? Mientras más se practica, como que eso se queda como más este, en nuestras mentes. Espero que haya sido este, significativo. Y este, lo más importante que lo pongamos en práctica. Let me see. Yo creo que, no sé si todos terminaron o si todavía quedaron algunas pendientes. Porque si ah, todavía bueno. quedaron algunas pendientes. La es, parte cuatro no. no la, cuarto, la parte cuatro les quedó pendiente. Entonces hagamos algo. Sí. Voy a utilizar. Nosotros Carlos. le hicimos todas. Todas, Carlos. Sí. Excelente. Ok, so. O sea, hello. 
Let me see, Carlos. <laughs> Para los que terminaron. Give me one second. Para los que terminamos no tenemos tarea para mañana. Ya yeah, no. Pero no ten copia. <laughs> <laughs> tenemos descanso. No, ahorita les voy a asignar más. Serán los primeros en participar. No, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Que de hecho que aquí tengo, aquí tengo la otra actividad que sí creo que ya no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. Pero, let me see. Vaya, los que terminaron, se pueden ir al enlace que les voy a colocar aquí en el chat, mira. Okay, you, you, you have to, you have to solve the exercise, eh, deben resolver el ejercicio y al mismo tiempo fijarse cómo va la secuencia de la conversación porque mañana vamos a entrar con, con esa conversación, ok. Para los que ya terminaron, pues, pues em, pueden empezar a, a familiarizarse con el ejercicio. Mientras tanto, yo voy a pasar lista. Era mentira, teacher. No lo habíamos terminado. Ah, ok. <risa> no, de igual manera, copien el enlace por si hoy en la noche no, no piensan este, continuar con, la, con las actividades y lo, y lo hacen mañana. Ok. Uh, let me see. Voy a pasar lista. Okay, Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Okay, Denise. Edgardo Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, Edgardo. Eh, Edwin. I saw Edwin. I know Edwin is there. Yeah. El, yeah. Ellen Nilsson. Present teacher. Esperanza. Ahí está Esperanza. Ahí no Esperanza was in the Estoy present. Ya. Yeah. Eh, Evelyn. Evelyn Yanira. Present. Edwin, teacher. Ah, oh, ya. Yeah. Thank you, Edwin. Eh, Fátima Michel. Present, teacher. Gabriela Jazmín. Present, teacher. Henry Giovanni. I know Henry is, is over here. I saw... Present teacher. Yeah, Henry is there. Jennifer Guadalupe. Jennifer Guadalupe. Yeah, there, right? Juan Carlos Beltrán. Juan Carlos Beltrán. Julio César. Hello, Julio César. I know Carla is there. Ladies, I saw ladies. She's been participating. Present. Yeah. Uh, Luis José. Well, Luis José had, had a problem. I don't know. Let me see if, if Luis is there. If Luis is connected, let me see. Luis. No, it's not connected. Obed? Present teacher. Wendy Carolina. Present teacher. William Aristides. Jennifer Madali. Uh, I, Jennifer, are you there? And Jessica. I know Jessica is here. Well, I'm done with this. Yeah, we still have some time. So 
Actually, we ha we have been uh, working a lot tonight, right? <laughs> We're gonna solve only one of the exercises and it will be done. Okay, here is where you were working a lot, right? Let me see. We're going to work uh, uh, with the first and the second part orally. First and second. Remember, you have three options, right? We're talking about prepositions of time. Okay, so then we have spring. What did you answer? Hello, hello, hello. In, in springtime or on springtime? In. Okay. In the spring. What about this? 20, uh, 2012. In. Monday. In. On a Christmas day. On in in. So is it in, in Christmas day or on Christmas day? On in on Christmas day. On, right. So because we're talking about a day, right? And that's a specific day. Easter. At exactly at, at Easter. And but if you say uh, at, at Easter Monday or on Easter Monday. Uh, at, at, at. Ah, so that's the difference. So they say on Easter Monday. If you mention the day, they say on Easter Monday. What about Sundays? On, on. 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 January. On. 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 They say on January. In. In, In. January. The evening. In. 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 Tuesday morning. In. On. In. December thirty first. On oh, ten o'clock Tuesday morning on. at at September in in, in the afternoon on on the afternoon or in the afternoon in in the in. afternoon in. in the afternoon Wednesday on 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 midnight on. At, at, at at midnight Saturday afternoon on on, on. Saturday on noon. At, at, at noon. At. All right, so I think it's over. Okay, Jessica says, says present. Okay, okay, Jessica, don't worry. I, I already checked the list of attendance and you were included there. Okay, so that was the first. I think you, you finished with all of them, right? Uh, if you didn't do so, do me the favor to finish it and send it to the, to the WhatsApp group. Eh, compartanlo ya resuelto, por favor. En el grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. Um, on the other hand, let me see. Give me one second. Yeah, over here it is. Teacher. Hello? Yo se lo, se lo voy a mandar mañana, ya resuelto, porque eh, ahorita yo estoy descargando Word para poderlo hacer ahí, pero las la respuestas ya las tengo. Okay, esperanza. It's all right. Okay, Jennifer. so... I'm sorry. I, I, I saw... Okay, Jennifer, I'm sorry. Uh, then, you see, well, we were... We were we were like solving a lot of exercises about uh, on, in, at. Uh, let me tell you that these uh, prepositions serve also to talk about, uh, I mean, they serve as prepositions of place also, but that I will, I will let you know about it later. Now is the time to talk about prepositions of time, in, on, and at. And I consider that we have had enough practice tonight. Okay, remember this uh, this activity, activity number six is for tomorrow. Okay, now let me know if now you are able to 
tell people about a specific time and date of activities that you do in your workplace. Self-assessment, okay? Just for you to take it into consideration. Okay, for tomorrow also, people, you are going to uh, investigate about, about some vocabulary, right? Vocabulary practice. So tomorrow we are going to have some vocabulary. And we are going to see about the definition and about what people do. Uh, remember, you still have the, the album about professions and occupations. And we're going to continue talking about it, okay? Because we have a lot of, a lot of professions, a lot of occupations. And, uh, well, over here you have some, like, the ones you see, one, two, three, just three of them, right? So, but do me the favor to investigate these three words, okay? That's for tomorrow. Okay, so you see, tomorrow we're going to continue talking about person simple or simple person information questions, okay? So questions with what, when, where, why, which, who, etc. So we have we still have a lot of a lot of work with simple person. Uh, actually, this is this is uh this is the third week. Tomorrow we finish with the third week, and the next week is going to be the last one. Okay, so as you can see over here, we're gonna start working on um, location. We're going to start working about location. And you will notice that in on at uh, work as a as a, a prepositions of place also. You see on, in, and at. But that will be later. Well, we still have a lot of work to do. We, we are, uh, some conversations are coming also. And well, fortunately we have enough work with I don't know if there if there if you have any question reactions is there any question no. and any comments no question no question no question Carlos Edwin no It's very good, all the class today. <laughs> it was really good. Okay, thank you. So any any yes. other question? Okay, is there any other question? Any other comment? We still have like two minutes to continue talking. Teacher, siento que ya quizás estamos agarrando más confianza todos ya para podernos expresar y... Y eso es bueno porque estamos compartiendo y ya se nos va quitando el temor para, para poder, eh, como decía usted, eh, que ya algunas palabras ya las mencionamos Hola. quizás con el, con, el, con el tono que tiene que ser. ¿verdad? Sí. La verdad que a este día me sorprendieron varios de ustedes porque cuando yo solicité tareas, lo, lo noté. Ya noté que... Que se, están, que se están como enfocando más en pronunciar bien, en decir las cosas con más fluidez. Y si ustedes miran, hace un par de días atrás, estaban comenzando su básico uno. O sea, esto es lento. En realidad es eh, la, la rapidez del aprendizaje o la efectividad depende mucho más de ustedes que nosotros los profes porque ustedes son los, los dueños de su tiempo. Y eso sí quiero que les quede bien claro, que ustedes son los dueños de su tiempo y ustedes hacen con su tiempo lo, lo que mejor les parece. Todos nosotros pues ya somos adultos y tomamos decisiones, ¿verdad? Y si decimos, bueno, voy a invertir una hora en aprender algo que no nos ha enseñado el teacher, pues perfecto. O sea, yo no le veo ningún problema. Lo único que sí les voy a solicitar es que si, si van a aprender, por su parte, que, 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 que verifiquen que lo que están aprendiendo efectivamente es así. Porque lo que sucede es que en inglés, si yo me aprendo una palabra mal pronunciada, pues toda la vida voy a pensar que esa palabra es así y, y cuando en realidad no la estoy pronunciando bien. Eso es por decirles algo. 
Entonces, eh, es, es de, de, de fijarse en los detallitos, ¿verdad? Cómo se deletrea la palabra, la pronunciación, eh, cómo, se, se, cómo se usa la palabra en contexto, porque hay palabras que pueden tener dos, tres significados al mismo tiempo. El verbo vi, por ejemplo, tiene cuatro significados, dependiendo del contexto, así, así es su significado. Entonces, todo eso es, es bueno que, que lo vayamos este, eh, aprendiendo. O sea, acá no solo se trata, yo no solo me dedico a, a bueno, mi clase ya, y ya terminó. No, yo, yo trato de dar consejos porque yo sé que aprender un segundo idioma necesita tiempo y necesita dedicación, ¿verdad? Y en la noche, pues la verdad, yo los felicito porque es, es un poco difícil. Eh, más sin embargo, ustedes hacen la diferencia, ¿verdad? Y, pero en el día, si ustedes toman a bien seguirle estudiando, siganlo estudiando. No se me descuiden de las actividades de, 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 de la plataforma porque eso cuenta. Los 120 minutos siempre cuentan, son sumamente importantes. Y este, eh, para que ustedes obtengan su diploma y no pierdan los beneficios, de, de estos cursos y se les dé seguimiento a su proceso de formación eh, pues nada, con esto me quedo y no sé si hay alguna otra eh, observación hago algún otro comentario pregunta y si no pues nos vemos mañana see you tomorrow see you tomorrow, good night See you tomorrow, teacher. See you yes. tomorrow. Good evening. Good evening. Good, Thank you. good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. See you later. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow.